Hi, this is Adriana, and I wanted to share with you a quick, cool tool that I use um, that's been really helpful for me in picking out color palettes, uh, colors for collateral presentations, and things like that. Um, I'm not a graphic designer. I'm just forced to pretend to be one uh, for some of the work that I do. So this is really helpful for me. Um, and I think you might find it helpful too. So there are three things I want to show you with this. First, I want to show you how um, you can find different color color palettes that are trending. Number two, show you how to generate a color palette. And three, show you how to generate a color palette from a photo. So first, trending. You can explore the different um, palettes that are trending. And this is updated, um, but you know, gives you ideas, things you like. Um, then there's the hex number there. And you can um, create a you can put this into the generator and use it to create your palette and you can pick, you can decide which colors you want to keep, which ones you want to change. Um, but let's say that we like this and we want to put it in the generator. So this is basically where you create all your colors. So here are the colors. So if there are ones that we liked, we would lock those in. Like say I like this color and this color and this one, but I don't like the other two. And you hit spacebar, which toggles the generator. Oops, don't do that. Um, spacebar. And then you just kind of see, well, oh, oh, I like that. Say so yeah, say so I like those. So now, now I've got my color palette with the different hex numbers here. And this is these are the numbers I can use in PowerPoint, in Canva, whatever you're using for your your graphic designs. You can also save palettes. So I've got like here's my brand palette. And let's say that I like these, obviously, because it's my brand and I created it. So I like these, but I need another color for whatever reason. So you hit plus and then it brings one up and then you just kind of hit space bar until you find something you like. If you like, oh, I don't like that. Ugh. Well, let's just go with this. So you can actually do different shades if you like the color, but you want to pick a different shade. Um, and we'll say we'll lock that in. So say we like this palette and there's some cool, re I guess, reporting you can do too. So you can, um, you can download this palette. So you can share it in a brand guide or whatever you need for easy access and see it's really nice. It just creates a one page image with the hex numbers there. So that could be super he helpful if you're sharing it with someone else or you just need it for, documentation. Um, there's also some other reporting that does some sophisticated things that, to be honest, I don't really understand what they are, but I'll show it just in case you might. Um, so this is a more detailed report, and this will show not only the hex code, but RGB, um, and then all the, I guess, the different shades, the gradients maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. The different gradients um, for the particular shades, I mean, for the colors. So anyway, that can be really, really helpful. Then the last thing I want to show you is how to create a palette from a photo. So you pick a palette from a photo. So there's a photo you like and you want to create um, a palette based on it. So let's just drag our image or you can point to a URL. All right. So here is my picture and it's created a palette with one, two, three, four, five. You can add in one more if I wanted six colors or if I only wanted four, you could subtract it. Um, you can move it around on the image to kind of pick up or highlight more of what you like or what you want to emphasize. Um, and then again, you can export this into a file that'll show you the hex numbers so that you can use them for whatever you like. So anyway, so that is Coolers. And it is, the website is coolers.co. And it's a free tool, it's super helpful for me, and I think it might be something that could help you as well. All right, take care.